wait, uh, why are we here? We thought that this would be a great place to try out your birthday present! Oh, man! Sweet! <laughs> Wee! It's a time machine! I'm going back in time! <laughs> he loves it! Hello, Mr. Lincoln! Enjoy, Hello. son! Wee! This is awesome! <laughs> yeah! Wee! <laughs> All right! Yeah, okay. Wow. Oh, fuck yeah! Dinosaurs! Yeah! Which is why some believe Martin Luther King's Great March on Washington to be the turning point of... Jack! What? Does my lesson on civil rights bore you, Jack? Well, uh, yeah. <gasps> gasp. Everyone, gasp. <gasps> I just don't see why we need to learn about this boring stuff. Why should I care? I'm like, nine years old, give or take. I heard some stupid fat kid doesn't think he needs to learn history! Yeah, that's me. What are you gonna do about it? I can't fix the fat part, but I can make you less stupid. Come with me. Are you like a pedophile or something? I am the ghost of history's past. I'm here to show you the struggles toward equality throughout history. Until the wrongdoings of your ancestors make you feel really bad. Now, get in my van. Um, I, I don't know. There's candy inside. Yes! Behold the horrors of the ignorant past. Well, I don't know, it seems pretty nice. Look closer, Jack, right over there. Colored water fountain? Uh, like Kool-Aid? No, Jack. <clears throat> Not like Kool-Aid. It means the other water fountain is for whites only. Whites only? Like a dry cleaner? Uh, no, Jack. Not like a dry cleaner. It's a segregated community. A gated community? Do they have a golf course? Uh, no, Jack. Not a... See that guy? Is that me? From the future? That's your grandpa! Jesus fucking... Okay, okay, I can do this. Uh, okay, let me make this as simple as possible for you. Your grandfather is about to get on a bus to go pursue his dreams in college! Notice how everyone else on that bus is also white? Except for one person. sense inequality never does why Th that's what but that's not the worst part look I can't wait to go to Penn State these injustices will ripple through history Jack history but that's now I don't live in history that doesn't affect me 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 not the now me but me yeah the now me but the Shh. shut up to show you how it affects you, we need a different ghost. For I am the ghost of history's past. Ah, uh, this seems needlessly complicated. Don't blame me. I didn't make up the rules, fucking Charles Dickens. Is it back up yet? Let me check. Yep, it's back up. Finally. I swear, every time the Wi-Fi goes down like that, I can feel my blood pressure rising. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for your help, Badger Pepe. You're the best IT guy this school's ever had, even if your methods are a little... Alternative. Yeah, alternative. It brings me much peace to know that I could aid you in your time of need. But I must give you warning, for these troubles will eventually return. And when that time is upon you, you will need my guidance once more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, which line are you? I hit page and then seven, right? Wait, do I hit conference and then the pound sign and then... Uh, these goddamn things. When the time comes, you can summon me by communing with Brother Fox. Whisper a secret into his ear and he will carry it with him across the plains. Under the watchful eyes of my ancestors, the twinkle of stars in the night sky, he will yelp your needs to Sister Hawk. She, upon the third night of the first full moon of the planting season, will bless the fields of corn with her screechings. Then she will grasp in her mighty talons a salmon from the great river and drop it at your feet. Thank the salmon for its sacrifice and reach into its mouth. 
For inside the salmon, you will find a USB drive with all the software patches and driver updates that you would need to reflash the custom firmware I've installed on your Wi Fi router. Farewell! Or you can just turn it off and back on again a few times! The fuck was that? Well. <laughs> what? what? Why did you take me back to my school? I'm not taking you to your school! All right, boys and girls, settle down. Time for our math lesson. Dang, out of chalk. Aw, now we'll never know the answer. I know, kids. I wanted to know the answer, too. Well, what's going on there, ghost? Ah! Where's the other guy? He had to attend to important matters beyond. I am the ghost of history's present. <laughs> Why don't they have desks or chalk? <laughs> because they have no money. <laughs> They're critically underfunded. <laughs> desks. <laughs> Some of these kids don't even get dinner. <laughs> yeah, but they have textbooks, so... They're all outdated to the point of irrelevancy. <laughs> but, but they have, like, geography maps and stuff. It's from the 18th century. <laughs> but they've, they've got calculators. <laughs> they only go up to seven. <laughs> and look at their globes. <laughs> I wish our classroom wasn't so haunted. Everyone just stay away from the ghost now. Don't give it any trouble. Wow. They don't have any advantages to be educated like me. They have, like, the opposite of advantages. <laughs> I know! <laughs> and those disadvantages are sure to have lasting repercussions throughout their lives! <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. But we can change this, can't we, Ghost? What about the future? For that, we need a third ghost. Take me there! I've got a thing, actually. I'll call you a cab, though. You've got to help me! Sure thing, man. I am the ghost of history's future. I will show you histories that have yet to come, because they are in the future. I know how it works already. Just do the thing! Come on! All right, kid. It's over there. Jesus. Kids, I know times have been hard, but I've scrimped and I've saved and... This year is finally gonna be the year. I'm gonna get us our very first Christmas turkey. Hey, Daddy! I wanna buy every turkey you have. Who's that? Is that my grandpa? What? No, no man, we're in the future. Christ almighty. How do those other two ghosts even? Uh, never mind. that's you, Jack. You in the future. Ah, oh, man, I really let myself go. You've been on that course for a long time, Jack. What am I doing with all those turkeys? Please, sir. I was a bus driver and I just got out of prison. Can you spare any food? Anything at all? Ah! Sorry about that, sir. Merry Christmas. No! No! This can't be! Why do I need so many turkeys? Why'd I buy so many turkeys? I mean, I'm up. I obviously don't need any more turkey. I already look pretty maxed out. Because you are a turkey. A jive one. You bought them not because you wanted them, but because you can, you privileged jerk. My name's Jack. I know what I said. What does, uh, pri privileged mean? It means you started higher up on the ladder than other people did. If life were a race, your start line was ahead of everyone else's. No, it's not fair. It's not fair. This is the worst future imaginable. Uh, I don't know about that. In my future, I became a dead-ass ghost, and it is not cool. What happens next? What's my future future? Well, shit, let's head over to the future and find out. Uh, how far in the future are we going? About an hour. Oh. Um. We're here, the future. Oh, no! It looks like this guy died of too much privilege. Yep. 
What a shame. No, 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 no! I don't want this future, Ghost! I want to go back! Please! No, no, no! Take me back! No, Ghost, please! Please! I need to go. I'll never eat again! Were you sleeping again? How many times do I have to tell you not to blah, 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 blah? Jack, where are you going? You there! What month is it? Why, it's Black History Month, sir. Then it's not too late. Don't worry, kids! I've got enough advantages and privileges for everyone! If you remain inside these walls, young one, you are merely relocating these items within their rightful home, and you have committed no crime. Once you cross this threshold, you will be as the coyote that has emptied the hen house without the farmer's permission. Uh, uh, what? You are stealing from the school, and as one charged with the sacred duty of protecting these halls, I cannot let you leave. Oh, come on! I, it's not stealing! I just, I just wanted to give kids in impoverished schools the stuff that we have too much of. The stuff they don't have. The stuff they deserve. I see. Let me tell you a story, Jack. When I was young like you, I did not have a school, for the world was my school. I did not have a teacher, for nature was my teacher. My parents left me in the woods on my birthday with only a cardboard box. It was there where Mother Earth took me in and raised me as her own. Brother Beaver taught me to read and write, and I learned arithmetic from Cousin Otter and Grandfather Armadillo. I studied the flow of the streams and the music of the wind. I also received a thorough yet potentially subjective education from the Great Spirit Mother Wikipedia though a citation may be needed. So you see, young one, knowledge does not come from having the most expensive supplies or technology. It comes from... Their globe is flat. Say no more. <laughs> Thanks, Badger Pepe! Badger Pepe, what's going on? Did you have anything to do with this? I did, as did my animal friends. And though their actions may be upsetting to some, they have not acted in vain. For the fruits of those bears' labor will bear fruit. Will bear fruits for many a growing mind. You are fired! You hear me? You're fired, Pepe! Get out! Get out before I call the cops! Very well, I will go. I will go back to where education flows like a river, for I am from a strong and resilient people who despite suffering great injustices remain true to our hearts, our earth, and ourselves. I will carry on giving aid to those with burdens too big to carry on their own, out there in the endless stretches of Earth's majestic bounty. Remember my lessons well. Be kind, be patient, be giving, and properly eject your external storage media before unplugging to prevent data corruption. Farewell! Oh yeah. And I changed all of your passwords, so good luck getting into your email, assholes. The internet's down again! Ah! Master Dater is a card game where you combine a head and a body to create the perfect date to appeal to three very specific dating interests. Defeat your enemies! Win at love! Master Dater is now available at places, stores, you know what I'm talking about.